这里我遇到了我的一个粉丝啊，我叫他说东北话，干啥呢？干啥呢？干啥呢？干啥呢？我是东北人。我是东北人。耶！干什么？干什么 ？OK，Thank you，Thank 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 you。Invite uh, uh, Jason Bofus Nasu and uh, our translator to the stage, please, for the post-screening Q and A. I'll open it up with a couple of questions, and then I'll invite the room to uh, to ask some good questions if you if you may have some. Uh, first of all, uh, what uh, for you is the main message of the movie? The main movie. Message is、uh, is the word. Is the truth. The truth can save the people. Can give the people the choice. Other in China, they don't know the truth. I think、uh, even now, for the COVID nineteen, for the Hong Kong, for the Xinjiang, even for the Russian and Ukraine war, the Chinese need to know the truth. How how long did it take? To make the movie altogether, and how was it for you to be involved in that movie for such a long time? I think this question is asked again. <laughs> well, it stretched over probably five or six years,、um, and so actually, just so you know, this is this was Dashong's premiere in terms of he'd never seen the film before、uh, before he came to the Netherlands, and、uh, obviously he's seen parts of it because he's drawn it, but it was important. Uh, for documentary, that although he's a participant in the film, and I mean a creative participant, he's helping to create the content. That he also we create a little bit of distance because he's a character in the film as well. And so what would happen is there's moments where you can see like in the when the police raids happen, when those dark paint brushes are chasing him. These are all things just straight out of Dashon, which is his feeling, and of course the nostalgia about his hometown. These are just things that came to him, and we just keep going, keep going, and we try and create them. But then other parts of the film, we gather through interviews, and then we ask him to do concept drawings of the characters, and then we use those and we bring it to life in animation. So there's this kind of collaborative process that stretched over five or six years. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
And and so Jason, you've um, uh, I, I noticed that you're you're from Canada. Uh, you've made a number of pictures. A lot of them are dealing with China or Chinese culture. Some of them about some grim topics like organ, har uh, organ harvesting, uh, but also Falun Gong, but also about Chinese food. Well, how, where where does this this link with China come from? Yeah, I have a fascination with the Chinese culture and the Chinese history, and then through subjects like Falun Gong, I have a, um, a real affinity and concern for the human rights situation in China. If you raise concern about human rights in China, you're anti-China. But I think actually, I mean, my children are learning Mandarin. My, you know, I, I we eat Chinese food all the time. Like I appreciate the culture and the values of, uh, and and the Chinese people by and large. But I think at the same time, it's because of that concern that I'd like to shine a light on the human rights situation. I'd like to open the floor to uh, to questions from the from the room. Does, the, would anybody like to ask a question to either Dasyon or uh... question to the, Sean? I I have a I work here in the Netherlands, and I have a, some colleagues that are Chinese, and sometimes just by seeing Falun Gong uh, showing posters in the street, I was curious. So I picked up a leaflet and I was asking her, and she's not the most conservative person, but when she was she was just mis minimizing the situation, just thinking, it's not that important, it's just... Uh, and I, I, and now I, I'm surprised by, by seeing the movie, because it does <laughs> seem quite important <laughs> to me, well, uh, even a person that's Chinese and not that uh, critical, uh, and quite critical at times uh, about the government, then when it comes to Falun Gong, she was... She was quite minimizing and putting these as something minor in the Chinese culture. Uh, why would you think that would be the case? What是大问题?呃,哪怕是一个人也是大问题。中国有句话叫人命关天。况且在中国有将近一亿人在学院反攻,这不是一个小数字。恰恰是因为这个人数才使共产党产生对反攻的迫害的想法, 因为 Chinese doesn't care about what you believe. They care about what you don't believe in the Communist Party. Do you uh, have any experience with that? Uh,一定是有这样的事情。但是呢,这对我来讲并不感动,因为在中国他们就不害我。国外呢,他不会像那种特别 暴力的,像中国那样的流氓的习惯。我在这边感觉到的痛苦其实不亚于在中国。因为 I live in the Chinese circle. The Chinese people still hate me. I'm sorry. They are believing in the government side. They don't know me. They are, they are afraid of us. They are want to far, far away from me. This is a, this is a big problem. They gave the people hate in this mind. Everybody might hate the United, United States, hate Japan, hate Falun Gong. First, uh, thank you for, uh, for, for the presentation. This is, uh, it's awesome to, uh, to be able to see it. And um, I, I was uh, curious about the, um, the part of the, the connection with the organ harvesting uh, with Falun Gong and whether this is something unique Falun Gong or is something that is uh, widely spread, for example, for other practitioners of other uh, sort of like religions as well in China? I think it's not only for Falun Gong. It's even for Xinjiang people, even for the Hong Kong students, maybe. But it's not from Falun Gong. I can show it's from beginning from Falun Gong. 